Hi Venus de Miles Riders, my name is Leah Goldson and I'm coming to you from beautiful British Columbia and I'm super excited to be part of this year's event. What I'll be doing is shooting three short videos to help your ride be more safe, fun and comfortable. So before I start, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was a professional bike racer for 12 years. I competed both in North America and in Europe. I later transitioned into ultra endurance racing, competing in two of the hardest races in the world, Race Across the West and Race Across America. So I know a little bit about surviving a long bike ride. So our first segment, we're gonna talk about your gear, the bike and what you're gonna wear. So we're first gonna go through a simple safety check that you should be doing before every ride. So one is tires. Before going on any ride, you want to check the air pressure both in the rear and the front. And if you're not sure how much air to put into your tires, there's a PSI number on the side wall and that'll give you a recommended range. And aside from air pressure, too, you also want to check the life of the tire. If there's any cracks or anything that possibly may be, may be embedded in the tire, you might want to pull it out. And if there is a bit of a hole, one trick is to use crazy glue to fill it in or simply get a new tire. Two are brakes, so you want to check the front and the rear to make sure that there is contact. That brake pad is actually touching the rim of that wheel. And the brake pad itself, you want to make sure that you do have brake pad because you do not want to have metal to metal when you are descending. That's a very expensive repair or end up descending at about 50 miles an hour and having to use your face as a brake. Yep, that's a scar. <laughs> Three is checking out your chain. A rusted chain is more likely to snap. And if your chain does snap during your ride, it's most likely gonna be the end of your ride. It's a very simple procedure to keep that chain clean. All you need to do is take a clean rag, grab that chain, reverse pedal, which will collect up all the dirt, and lightly apply a chain loop. Most important is your helmet. You want to make sure that it fits pretty snug and that the straps aren't too loose or when you're riding that it doesn't shift. If you're not sure about your helmet fit, then you can go to your local bike store and they can help you out. Now we're going to talk about cycling clothing. Honestly, your bike doesn't care what you wear. But I recommend wearing cycling shorts. One, because the material is a little bit more breathable and there's a chamois. And a chamois is basically a pad that's sewn on the inside of the shorts which will make your ride a little bit more comfortable. Also your cycling jersey. It's made with the same breathable material and you have the pockets in the back where you can store your phone, maybe some money, and if you get hungry, an extra sandwich, maybe some lasagna, a bottle of wine. 